Do you want to know how ultimate USB stick looks like? This is my USB stick. This is the ultimate USB drive. Why it's so special? Simply because from this USB stick you can install multiple operating system. That means you can install Windows 8.1, Windows 10, Windows 11, Linux, Fido OS or other operating system from single USB drive. So today I'm going to show you how to create a bootable USB drive from which you can install different operating system and it all depends on you which operating system you want to install. So to create a bootable USB drive for a multi operating system we will use Ventoy. This is a popular software and it is free available so definitely you need to like this video because we will use a free software. Actually everything is very simple you just need to repeat after me. So let's get started. So guys, we are in the Windows and for the beginning we need to open our browser. In my case, I will open Google Chrome browser. Then you need to type next. Then toy download and press enter. So here you may see Van toy and you need to click on this website. Link will be in the video description. Click on it. On this page, we need to scroll down a little bit here you may see Ventoy for Windows and Ventoy for Linux. If you have a Windows, you need to click here. We will click on the Windows because I use Windows 10. After that process, it will take us to github.com and we need to scroll down a little bit. From this place, you can choose which file do you want to download. In our case, we need to download Ventoy for Windows. And another time, if you have a Linux, you can click on this file. I will click on Windows. And as you can see, we successfully downloaded Ventoy on my laptop. So now we can close this window. Now we need to go to the place where you downloaded Ventoy. In my case, I need to go to the downloads. I will click here and this is Ventoy. I will move it to desktop to make it more convenient. If you take a close look, here you may see folder OS. I will click on it and voila. You may see Linux, Tiny 11, Windows 8.1, Windows 10 and even Windows 11. This operating system I will move on my USB stick and I can boot any of them. So I can decide which operating system I want to install. Simply to understand you need to download operating system manually so you can decide which operating system you want to move to your USB drive. Okay I will close this window and now I will unzip the archive and here we see folder Ventoy so I can delete this archive. And now I need to insert my magical USB drive into the laptop. So I will insert it in this USB port. Okay, I successfully insert my USB drive. And now we can open this folder, Ventoy. I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient. Please pay attention. You need to find this file, Ventoy to disk. Now you need to click on the right mouse button and you need to run it as administrator. Now we are in the Ventoy and here you need to choose your USB stick. As you can see, this is my USB drive, USB SanDisk. It has 32 gigabytes of space. If you don't see your USB drive, you can click here and probably it will appear in this window. Okay, after you chose your USB drive, here you have some option. Click on it. If your system support secure boot, you need to enable this option. And the most important thing that you need to select MBR or GPT partition. In most cases, MBR using in older laptops that support legacy. But if your laptop support UEFI, definitely I recommend to select GPT. I have quite old laptop, but even my laptop support GPT. So I will select GPT 
Also, I want to mention one very important thing. If one of the operating system support legacy and other operating system can run only in UEFI, in the future it may work not correctly. For the example, FidoS is quite popular operating system, Chinese version of Chrome OS Flex, it runs only in UEFI. If you install it in legacy, I mean if you select MBR, which mean legacy, it will not run. After that, you need to click on install. I want to warn you that all information, all data will be deleted, will be destroyed from your USB drive. So if you have some important information, definitely I recommend to save it. We will click on install. Yes. Now you need to wait a few minutes. This process doesn't take a long time. And now we see a happy message. Congratulations, Wentoy has been successfully installed to the device. That means we create a bootable USB drive. I will show you. We will click on this PC and this is a bootable USB drive. Actually, everything is so simple. We need to click on our folder, OS. Now we can copy our operating systems. I will click copy. And now we need to click on Ventoy and paste all operating system in this folder. Fellas, now you just need to wait until the process will finish. And actually, after this, you will be able to insert your USB stick into laptop or computer and decide which operating system you want to install. As you can see, we successfully copied all ISO files on our USB stick. And actually, that's all. We create a bootable USB drive from which we can install different operating system. It all depends on you. But I still recommend you to do very important thing. We need to close this window and of course, safely remove our USB stick. As you can see, this is my USB stick SanDisk. I will click on it and after this message you can remove your USB drive. So friends, I will remove my USB stick. My friends, now we need to turn on the laptop and enter the BIOS, but before that we need to insert our USB drive. Okay. Right now I'm going to turn on the laptop and enter the BIOS. In my model Lenovo L430 I need to press F1 key. You can check on the internet which key you need to press to enter the BIOS in your model. Okay, after that you need to find boot option. Actually every BIOS may be different but all of them have the same option. Boot option is available in all BIOS. As you can see my BIOS has more option than the other BIOS. For the example, I will run my USB drive in UEFI, so I can manually select UEFI first. And then I can go to the boot option, press enter. And as you can see, this is my USB drive, SanDisk, and I will move it at the first place. So for this, I can press F6 key. But you can check in your BIOS which key you need to press to move your USB drive or HDD drive. After I move my USB stick at the first place, I will press exit. After this process, your USB drive will boot as the main drive. So I can press enter, but also I want to show you one useful tip. Probably you can press the F12 key and you can decide which drive you want to choose. I will show you. In my model, I can press F12 key. So the laptop will restart and I will press F12 key. So we can select our USB drive, press enter and voila! We can decide which operating system we want to install. Linux, Tiny11, Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows 8.1. So for the example, I will select Tiny11, press enter and then I recommend to select boot in normal mode, press enter and if you take a close look, you may see Windows 11 logo because Tiny11 literally is the same Windows 11 Pro, but the modified version. And voila, now we can install Windows. I will close this window. As you can see previously, I chose Tiny11 and it boot without any problem, but this time I will choose Linux. Press enter, boot in normal mode. 
Also, we have some Linux option. Press enter. So friends, we are in the Linux and as you can see, we can install Linux Mint on our HDD drive. Everything works correctly without any problem. You can use this tip to have multiple operating system on your USB drive. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. And if you want to know how to run portable application from your USB drive, I recommend to click here on this video.